Hoffenay, and welcome to Rehash, where we recap some of the big stories of the week. So, Crystal, maybe we'll start with you. I had a very bittersweet story. Uh, it was actually very personal for me. I was actually just looking into this animal cruelty case I'd seen, and the police blotter found out, traced it to Umatic, and which traced me, which led me all the way back to Gain and Jigo. So, from Umatic to Jigo, I found out that uh, a customs canine dog, a retired customs canine dog, her name was Toya. I had the chance to work with her a few years ago on a segment we did here on KUAM. She had been put to sleep because she had been badly beaten. She had been slashed in the, in the side with what appeared to be a machete. And unfortunately, she was far from home. We don't know all the details. A lot of people are asking me, we don't know what unfolded. She did have a forever home after her retirement from the force that six years on the customs drug detector dog unit and she's responsible for the seizure of 6.2 million dollars in meth so she is hopefully gonna get a proper burial but she was cremated and i hope this sends a message for people at home to report to authorities animal cruelty this is a serious crime and they take that very seriously because those dogs are like just oh officers. yes this is, these are officers yeah. These are officers. Anyways, uh, one of the stories I worked on today, uh, this week, was uh, the uh, the mall. Uh, all of the uh, food court stalls are back open except for one. Um, there was a problem with, uh, I guess, roach infestation, but that's been taken care of. And so we spoke with the, the vice president operations manager, and he's encouraging customers to come on back. Uh, it's, it's, it's safe. They said. That's good, because that's where a lot of us go for lunch here <laughs> in Harmon. <laughs> There's so much variety, so it's good to know it's safe to eat there. And Val, how about you? I spent a lot of time in session, and today they took a vote on a, um, a number of bills, and actually a lot of them they passed. Actually, all of them they passed. Um, one of those was a kind of a controversial bill, which was the signage law, Bill 90. Um, and that would modernize uh, some of the signage laws on Guam because uh, there was some controversy. Some people said it was a special interest bill, um, but that passed with only three voting no. Um, and then also passed today was uh, 93, which was um, Vice Speaker Therese Terlahi's bill, which would um, uh, kind of ease the processes or, or I'm sorry, um, uh, fix the processes with the Guam Parole Board as far as having family members have to come in year after year and, and you know, sit before the Parole Board. And it's a very painful process. So she really wanted to, to address that in this legislation, so. I actually sat in the public hearing for that and it was really emotional. Had a lot of the families testifying. I asked for myself, um, we both kind of covered this, bills 94 and 87, both relative to Simon Sanchez High School. So, and actually just DOE as a whole. So Simon Sanchez already got some money for summer repairs. Now additional money, uh, this would go to about half a million. Uh, we all heard about that asbestos at GW, the encapsulation cracks in the enca encapsulation, so they're going to fix that, as well as a lot of fence lines and canopies, uh, broken doors, things throughout the district. So hopefully good news for DOE. And of course, if you have any tips for us, just message us on Facebook or email us at reporters at KUAM.com.